so you are preparing for, for the next, year. next video yeah, I have to. so next next you can see yeah it's a i have to i have to yeah this is our smartest cadet it is our cadet cadet name Mukhtar. is Mukhtar. Mukhtar. you have to pronounce it like Mukhtar. otherwise you will not like it <laughs> anyway uh, you must have seen him in other videos as well so today's video is gonna be about egg this for him and for you guys i am going to share especially for cadets it will be very helpful i believe so we're gonna show the grc egg this the most important uh, task we do on egg this uh, as a navigation officer i will not go through every single details but i will show you major items okay and we'll have some uh, briefing on each item as well so you can yeah. say something no i have nothing to say to be honest i just learned from the big boss no he's my friend yeah, and he, i know he's also uh, my boss okay <laughs> boss come friend <laughs> okay there are basically three types of uh, display uh, it, it it refers to the information shown on egg this okay standard display here you can change also from here standard display base display and other first let's start from base display if it is base display only the basic required information are shown on egg this with the standard display it's comply with the standard uh, projection of the egg this it has uh, again you cannot uh, change anything from a standard display but if you go to other display you can show as many information as you want as available in egg this you can fabricate it got my point yeah so basically we use uh, other display as how we require but for the easy of uh, easy understanding of the display i will go for standard display now okay so from here we can sh see this uh, this is heading uh, heading of the vessel right now speed through water then course over ground then soz is the speed over ground and this is the utc time utc time uh, you can change it to local time as well as how you need so it's the timing of the egg disk position one it's taking from sensor as per your uh, setting gps1 wgs84 this is related to the positioning okay okay then vector is uh, right now we are using true vector for 12 minutes of your own ship and other ship as well and depth this is the depth showing from eco sounder okay, okay. then some eis information and this is not so important root data is uh, uh, the currently which route we are using this is the root data and you can change route you you have to choose from here if like this all these routes are uploaded in the egg disk now you can choose any route as per your requirement so right now we are on this route and two waypoint 38 means next waypoint okay you can select it auto so that automatically it choose always the next waypoint to know the distance of next waypoint and bearing to the next waypoint okay and calculation this is for e your eta calculation eta is estimated time of arrival right calculation is eta calculation so let's say 48 hours last uh, 48 is our uh, pilot boarding ground so we are interested to know when we are reaching on our pilot boarding ground on arrival port so this is the distance from right now and we can calculate it as per actual distance which is right now distance making is 13.3 but we can calculate it as per our let's say you want to increase your speed or decrease your speed as per your uh, calculation of speed you can ch check the what eta is coming so let's say your speed is 12 knot you want to maintain so at 12 knot you will be getting this uh, this eta this eta and if this is speed and this is time to go okay ttg is time to go so let's say uh, this is uh, many times captain ask you uh, i need uh, to maintain eta on so and so date let's say 28 august 11 o'clock or let's say for the time being if i want to show you let's say you want to maintain 0 28 august 0800 utc so if 0800 utc he want to maintain we can calculate here also okay just double click to make it 0828 and then time time 
time is let's say 0800 UTC so enter speed will automatically Increase. update it you got it yeah. if you want to reach on 28 August 0800 UTC you need to have this speed captain may ask you like this way drift of your uh, present drift condition uh, root data Okay, this is uh, as per route, uh, total distance and final ETA. Waypoint, if you need some specific waypoint, uh, coordinates, like let long of specific waypoint. Pier is uh, some heading speed and radius data, this I never use anyway. We normally don't use these things. We need for this part, we only need this calculation for ETA. Okay, then MOB this is man overboard. When any uh, person will get overboard, you have to press this button immediately so that you can monitor your position of man overboard and you can maneuver back to that position to save that person okay. or recover that person from water. Okay, so this is the port list next one you can save port list so that it uh, if you select any port list from here it will show directly uh, to that area uh, this is for your easiness of operation this is basically required for second officer so next is home home is always referred to the vessel's position present position zoom out is simple zoom out zoom in okay and then zoom area you can select the area you want to zoom okay like here to here i want it will only show this part okay, okay. then uh, here is the ratio of display this is uh, referred to the scale of the chart it's not for imp uh, it's not important so much for uh, beginners beginners they only need to adjust their display as how they want okay and uh, this is a 48 nautical mile reference is you see about 50 nautical mile from the center yeah so it's like 48 48 nautical mile coverage right now of the display this is orientation true orientation related orientation are free we always keep it true orientation true orientation indicates that vessel is going it will go like this from the display it will not not like radar it will stay continuously here it will move also your vessel is also moving this is uh, as per true orientation if we put relative orientation vessel will always be here only the course uh, this passes will be falling down you got my point yeah so we always choose uh, true i never saw anybody using relative on egg this north up is uh, right now this is the projection which is north up indicates this will be north this will be east this will be west this will be south this is the north up projection okay and rotation you can use it as per your requirement like wh when we go like now we are going northwest early movement right 337 but when we go down you will see vessel is moving down if you do not like it you can use this rotation and you can yeah. use this 180 degree around uh, course also on top got my point right yes. okay then this is done tools there are some handy tools like ebl ebl is electronic bearing line that is same like we use in uh, radar for checking bearing prm is uh, vari variable range marker same like uh, radar for checking uh, range of the uh, range of the object okay we have two EBL and two VRM and we can use it from our own vessel also can use it from other object like if we want to see bearing from this object to our vessel we can choose D D is we can if you use D it will change your decentralized you can say so from here i am checking now our our vessels bearing but if you remove d this is like from our vessel to anybody you see okay. you understand the change yeah, right yeah, yeah. change it from here yes right? 
so it's as per your requirement you can you can use it variable range marker is now right now it's 60 mile it's too much this is how you can use for any uh, bearing and distance from any object and let me tell you as part of operation like this is 24 mile if it is mm, let's say within the range of proper range of radar you can use this go to main and go to radar overlay and you can see you can use radar overlay like this way so that you understand yeah, yeah. whatever your radar radar is showing radar is sure, yeah. showing the practical over here right yeah. and the chart is matching with the radar okay. it indicates that everything is fine positioning i mean and the projection on your cell or like this cell or however you say so here one tool is day night we can change it to day to understand yeah. properly okay so here some other uh, options were brilliance under brilliance you can say day night some other panel you can change the color of the panel yeah you can choose as per your requirement okay so this part only remaining alert list right yeah. let's go to main and go to overlay and remove overlay first okay alert list you have some basic required and as per your uh, setting also some additional alert and uh, warning system warning log as you can see system alert system system alert log navigation alert uh, si status you have to monitor all this whenever any alert come or any warning come you sh you should check and acknowledge and take you should take necessary actions accordingly okay so this is done now let us talk about this down blow bar this is uh, to waypoint 38 means next waypoint 38 time to go for next waypoint eta on next waypoint cross track distance is you see the our yeah. main line is here we are already starboard side cross yeah, track zero so to zero to five and we have limit never mind we have limit up to 1.7 is showing means from here it is about two mile okay so as per your company uh, requirement the second officer will uh, will set this